Welcome back to another video. In the last video, we made our game loop and got it working, uh, but we don't have any UI to, to display on the screen to let us know what state we're in. We're just looking at the output log. So let's make some UI today. So let's just, we're actually gonna cheat. Uh, I have made this UI before and I trust you guys have made UI and are familiar and comfortable with making it. Uh, this course isn't really about teaching you the basics, so we are going to cheat and there is a package uh, that you can download. Um, I will put it with the course materials. Uh, just download that and follow the instructions. Just do what I do uh, to import it into your game. Yeah, I'm just going to go to starter GUI and I'm going to insert from file and then I'm going to select game loop UI and that will import it into our project and it says ungroup and starter GUI. So we are going to ungroup it and there we go. We've got all of our, we've got all of our screen GUIs for right now. This will be a good start to show us what state we are in. There is one thing that we messed up in the last video on start game, the state value we set the game, we need to change that to game active. Other than that, it should work right away as soon as we import it into our project, the, the screen GUIs. So let's see what they look like. It's not going to show anything at first because we're not in any state. Intermission starts, counts down, free game, game active, and then it's going to stay in game active until the game's not tied anymore. Now we are in post game, it should go back to intermission and we can see that it's working. Uh, we do want to change the gameplay gooey though we want to uh, enable it so we can see it and we want to add a scoreboard right here so we are going to open it up oh and something else uh so each one of these each one of these screen GUIs has its own script feel free to take a look at the script and see what it's doing but it's pretty simple stuff it's just activating uh, that particular GUI whenever that state is active so let's see we need to make like a scoreboard so let's just create a frame looks like we are gonna be making some UI in this video. All right, so this is gonna be like our scoreboard. Let's get it centered. I want it to be pretty simple. Oh, let's uh, set the anchor point. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fast forward through this part. We're gonna get rid of the state label. We don't care to see that the game's active. We'll know the game's active whenever we see the scoreboard. I'm gonna put this timer label inside this frame we just made. We're gonna name it scoreboard frame um let's change the timer labels anchor point 0 0.5 0 0.5 um position 0 0.5 0 0.5 size we need to make the y one and we'll make the x like i don't know we'll do like 0.6 all right let's duplicate this now this will be blue gore label um uh, let's change the timer labels text color just to be let's do white right now we'll do a black background uh blue score label needs to be text color needs to be blue anchor point change it back to zero leave the 0.5 for the y anchor point change the x position zero change the size on the x to be 0.2 all right now I'll duplicate this and this is going to be the red score label change the anchor point to be one if you don't understand why i'm doing the ui the way i'm doing it or whatever just just follow along there's tons of videos out there uh, about how to do ui and roblox so we're not going to really uh, go too in depth about it anyways uh so the position for the red score needs to be one and i should just about do it yeah let's just leave it like that you can make it look prettier if you want but this this will do for now at least and we can also always tweak this here we'll just do it like this position equals 0.5 okay so now let's disable it let's press play mess something up timer label is not a valid member of screen gui so yeah we did move the timer label so we need to go to this script timer label equals script dot parent dot scoreboard frame dot timer label that should do it no errors intermission pregame and then there's our score and that should do it for this video guys uh, again this uh this ui i'm gonna put it to uh to where you just download it so just download it import it ungroup it in the starter gui do what we did in this video to treat the gameplay gui script and to add your own scoreboard gui so that's it 